Can you imagine looking like that in 2021? The hair. Look at this guy. Don Doc. Look at his hair. I remember that scene though, man, when he gets her into the house. This is where it starts getting stupid. He's sitting there playing the drums in the fire. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Here? Look at him. He's just, they're walking. He's, this dude just comes out of nowhere. Look at him. <laughs> Watch, he's gonna come out of nowhere playing his, his guitar. <laughs> This is the the eighties or nineties for you. <laughs> and yo, he's dope on that guitar, man. Shout out to that dude, man. George Lynch, I think his name. And then Freddie grabs him. You see, he yokes him up. The look. There's there he is. And now they're playing. <laughs> there they are. Oh man, the music got Freddy. He can't even handle the music. He can't handle the music. <laughs> oh, that he's having the nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> Who are those guys? Hair metal is awesome. Yeah, I mean, listen, Poison, all them guys, they put out some good records, right? But the look was crazy. But that was the look back then, you know? I remember when Metallica cut his, cut their hair and people freaked out about that. I, I don't know if you guys remember that, but people freaked the fuck out over that. But uh, Dokken Doc Doc had some good songs back in the days. 1987, yeah. So 90, 97 was the big hair. Even girls had big hair. They'd be wearing, like, the puffy socks and stuff like that. It was, That was just the look, you know? back then but i think that a lot of people don't appreciate that music because they go back and watch the music videos and they look crazy at times especially dokken and um dokken's band was written it was an interesting sound because um the singer he had he had like um a real poppy kind of voice uh versus some of the other bands they didn't have such a pop voice but the but the the band was on point man and and his voice was good too it wasn't like he had a bad voice you know he says, wow, I was born in 87. So that came out when you were born, Ken. When you were born, man. And his guitar, that guitar is pretty badass, too, with the skulls and all of that. That's a badass guitar with them damn skulls. Um, but, you know, my favorite movie, man, by far. My favorite movie. I have, um, I actually don't buy many of these, um, these figures, but um, I did buy this one. Because it, it is my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Um, you know, it has the little house that we've seen in the music video. Um, I love the, the the body of souls right there. That was sick. Um, man, you have even the syringes right there on the fingers. This is a badass figure right here. Super badass figure. Um, and I keep it in the box, not because it's a collector's item, really. I just don't know where to put them. I need to, like, figure out how to display all these figures, you know, because they're, they're super cool, man. They did a really good job on the on this beat. Oh, we got the man in the flesh. <laughs> Fire. Yeah, the Fresh Prince right here, boy. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> That was proof that there had been a nightmare on my street. Classic. So classic, bro. I had to take out those fives for Fresh for fresh Prince and Sweat. Yeah, man. dude. Yo. That's a song that slept on with him, man. I was saying in the comments that um, at least back then, um, when there were songs that were from movies, uh, it contained content for and or about the movies back then. Yeah, now it, it's now. not like that. They just make a really good song that kind of has like an anthem feel to it for movies, right? They don't really make songs about the movie. And yeah. I think that we enjoyed that back in the days. I think people would still to this day.
But I think now when, like, let's say me and you were putting out a movie, pause. Um, <laughs> sounded crazy. But oh. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, I, yo, I'm mad late. <laughs> when you said pause, I'm like, pause. But let's say, we, oh, like, you know, <laughs> let's say, you know what I'm saying? We're putting out like, um, like a big, like million dollar budget movie, right? And it's like, we're looking for a song. Nowadays, it's like the, the most people involved with that, the, the soundtrack of a movie, they're looking for that epic, monumental record, like a big sounding record, not necessarily a song that has even lyrics to it, really, you know? My, some of my uh, my favorite uh, Nightmare on Elm Street themed songs is uh, the uh, Goo Goo Dolls, uh, Don't Fall Asleep to Dream. Mm -hmm. uh, they play it in the very, very beginning of Freddy's Dead. And um, Tuesday Night. Remember Tuesday night and I'm on Elm Street Four. Yeah, she's a star. She made a song for that movie also, and her being mm -hmm. a star too. I like that song a lot too. There was a lot of good music in um, Three, though. Yeah, they even had. I think they even had um, Drama Rama. I think they had a song. Wasn't this song on it? Um, any? Because I have a lot. I have all the soundtracks for all the movies. Um, let me see. But yeah, Drama -rama, I like, I like, I like, like, on it. Was Drama Rama on it? Drama Rama. Damn, yo, Tuesday night. I think this song was on it too, which I don't know if it was 100%. I could find out. Let me see. Nightmare. Yeah, it was. It was on it. Yeah. It was Drama Rama. Oh, this was for four. This was a dope song on four. Yeah. I'll, I'll play it real quick because um, I really like this record. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this was a good record. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you remember this record? I think this may have been anything, also anything. Anything. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I gave you flowers, gave you pills. Yeah. That was the... Um, this was with the karate dude, the right? Art. Yeah, the martial arts, yeah. Yeah, her brother, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was a fire record. Still dope. Yeah, I, I like uh, for Patricia Arquette and um, By My Elm Street. Uh, was that three? Yeah. That was her, right? Patricia Arquette. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fire record. Hell yeah. Fire record, definitely. So, yeah, man. I'm, you know, we're just chilling here. You know, we like to keep the show at an hour for the Patreon show. Oh, I uh, think keep it nice time. and tight. We will be doing, I may go live a little bit later. I got to see how it's going down. If people are like, had enough of me in the house, then I'm going to do a show. That's basically how well, it works. What you got going for food for Father's Day? Oh, man, we were going to go out, but the weather kind of sucked. Now it's sunny. So we got a lot of good food, man, at the house. Some nice steaks and all that. Hey, what's up? It's Sammy, the Spanish guy, Guevara. And you, yes, you are watching DJ Dell's. Like me growing up. The boxer I loved was Mike Tyson. I just love Mike Tyson. Yeah. And you actually got to work with him numerous times. Wasn't even on your YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. I did. I got to get him in a, in a bit. Hey, there it is. I mean, what is it like <laughs> being able to be on a set, be around such greatness multiple times? What's Mike like? Mike is such a chill dude. Um, he kind of pranked me a little bit. Uh, Going into the bit, he was he just showed up to the arena, and he was trying to get inside the football uh, little area and to go on the field. And so I asked like our PR person or whatever. I'm like, hey, is it cool if I ask him to be in a vlog bit? And they're like, actually, it's perfect time because he can't go nowhere. Like he's literally right here. So I asked him like to be in the vlog, and then he he goes, oh man, I, I get paid for that. You know, I I, I get. You know, I get compensated. I was like, oh, well, I'm sure I can't afford that. So, but thank you for being here. And then he goes, stop. For you, I'll do it for free. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. I thought I I thought I was pissing off Mike Tyson. I asked him to be in this video. It turns out he's just, he just <laughs> messing with me. That's awesome, man. I mean, you know, that's like some bucket list shit. Like to meet Mike Tyson is crazy. Yeah. And then to not Go only ahead, be bro. able to do stuff on TV with them, but just to get them involved in the vlog is such a trip. Just because yeah. you know, I started doing the vlog stuff like in 2015, and it's evolved so much since. Oh then. yeah, it has. 
and now we got Mike Tyson in the vlog, like even for mm-hmm. just a, a little skit. It's it's a trip. Yeah, man, you're doing you're doing great things, man. And just look at this, man. I mean, look what how your life has changed, right? Mm-hmm. Since since you were look at this guy on the left right here, man. Oh my god, I know exactly what photo that the one on the left is from. I mean, I, tell us about that if you'd like. You like you want to talk about about you know you then and you now a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so the one on the left. Uh, I took a bus from Houston to Philadelphia to wrestle for the IWC, where I think I got paid maybe $50, maybe less than that. So I was negative in the hole for sure after that trip. But I saw it as an opportunity to go wrestle somewhere outside my state. And um, I remember that match, too. It was like a crazy match. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got concussed in that one. Uh, we did a bunch of crazy things, and um, you know, now to see that to where we are now, it's it's just wild, man. Uh, a whole lot of hard work has gone into this. A whole lot of sacrifice, um, not only with the body, but just you know, sacrificing, missing certain things like weddings and whatever else. Um, but it's just been a trip, and uh, we're only going up from here. Would you ever think when you were? this young guy over here that you would actually have moments like this i feel like you're the kind of guy you really believe in yourself and i respect that about you but i'm oh, like this uh, is unbelievable no a hundred percent like i didn't know i'd be in the ring with mike tyson or to be teaming with jericho but i've always known i was going to be a superstar wherever mm-hmm. that ended up i've known that since you know before i even started when i was in my backyard i was like I'm going to be the world champ. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have action figures. I would go to the store and I would be holding like a John Cena figure and I would visualize, you know, that one day I'm going to be holding myself. Like I'm going to be in this figure. And um, you know, now I have an action figure. I haven't been able to find it in the store, but one of these days I'm going to find it in the store. And um, see, I have it. I have the figure, but I want to find it in the store. In the, I will, if it'll make you feel better, I bought this at Target. What? See you, uh, but there was only one of each of them, dude. So it's hard like, to find, man. They're I know, man. Hey, what's up? It's Sammy, the Spanish guy Guevara, and you, yes, you are watching DJ Dell's The Sneaker Addict. Make sure to subscribe and be the best ever. DJ Dell's, you know, I love you. I love you.